Today I want to provide a brief overview and background information about the Maslin Levy systems as well as some current issues that we're experiencing and what we as the Corps are doing to stabilize those issues. So the Maslin Levy system is broken up into two components commonly referred to as the Maslin East Levy and the Maslin West Levy. And both of the levees were constructed in 1951 uh, and the Maslin West Levee was constructed to an average height of 16 feet and protects about 56 and a half acres of commercial and industrial property. Whereas the Maslin East Levee was constructed to an average height of 15 feet and protects uh, over 195 acres of both residential and commercial properties. So if a breach were to occur on the Maslin East Levee, over 1,100 people would be directly affected, together with over $55 million worth of flood-related damages. And that includes a local EMS station, which would be critical. Similarly, if a breach were to occur on the West Levee, over 200 people would be directly affected, together with $9 million worth of flood-related damages, and about 90,000 90, customers would be uh, without water supply. So that being said, it is essential that we as the Army Corps of Engineers maintain levy functionality in order to ensure public safety. We're here at the Lake Avenue Trailhead along the Towpath Trail in Stir County. This popular trailhead features a lot. Uh, it's about the halfway point in Stark County of the 26 miles of Towpath Trail. So a lot of visitors here will stop for a bite to eat at the deli. You can rent canoes, kayaks, uh, bikes, of course, buy bike equipment as well at the bike shop, and uh, just have a nice picnic spot. But a lot of people head out here to get their run, their walk, or their bike ride on the Towpath Trail. To the north, they head up to Canal Fulton, and eventually through Summit and Cuyahoga counties, and to the south, through Maslin, uh, down to Navarre, and into Tuscarawas County. Now, an important section and an important announcement that you need to be aware of is the uh, levee stretch of this uh, towpath trail, about two miles here that goes through Maslin, just south of Lake Avenue. And that is gonna be undergoing a construction project for the next few years. So during this time, the trail will be closed during the week on weekdays. It is scheduled to be open on weekends. The best thing to do is head to starkparks.com in the upper right corner, check the park and trail alert section, and you'll see if the status has changed or if there's been any uh, additions or uh, any information that you need to know before you head out on the towpath trail. Due to the recent high water events, uh, it is apparent that we have some soil block displacement along the lower bank soils, as well as some related erosion. Uh, and both of those uh, issues require timely stabilization by the court. So what are we doing to stabilize it? Our plan is to excavate the lower bank soils back to a stable geometry and to backfill with stone riprap. Uh, in addition to those features, uh, we will install stone deflection structures. And what those will do is they will push those hydraulic forces away from the river bank uh, and redirect them towards the center of the channel and will prevent localized scour adjacent to our stone riprap protection. The construction phase uh, for the design will be broken up into two components. The first phase will be the construction of access ramps, which will provide permanent access for flood fighting efforts. And that phase of the work is uh, ongoing as we speak. Now the second phase of the work, which will include the stone riprap for the lower portion of the levee, as well as the stone deflection features, that is anticipated to be awarded in the very near future. So during the construction process and beyond, the United States Army Corps of Engineers is diligently working to maintain levy functionality to keep the people of Maslin safe.